channel. As you can see, today's video is going to be a little bit more of a chatty video and I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. Um, and a lot of different things have come into play for me to make this video and some of them are um, just what I've seen around YouTube and Instagram and like always all these chatty videos are inspired by those type of things for me. So lately I saw, I started following an, a, YouTube, a YouTuber and Instagrammer her name is Kim Tai and she has a beauty uh, channel here on YouTube and then also Nikki Tutorials um, is another great example of that but Kim, um, she posted a photo of herself and she had a bunch of stretch marks and stuff and she was just so raw about her body right now and she used to be like a really tiny girl and now she's just a little bit bigger and with a few stretch marks which everybody has so I just wanted to do a video just to explain where I'm coming from and since I've decided to do a little bit more videos a week um, for those of you that are tuning in I wanted to be a very real uh, raw self um, in terms of my body issues or opinions on all that issues so here is where I am I am in a place where uh, I've obviously gained a little bit of weight than I used to be um, I used to be a size 4 and now as the title says I'm like a top size 10 or 8 mixes between the two of them so I just wanted to do this video and just like say that and like talk about that because again like I always try to do these videos because I type in on YouTube uh, like size 10 and just that that's it that's all that like I search and like barely any videos come up maybe like some plus size videos of models and stuff not nobody like a youtuber talking about their size talking about themselves talking about their issues and everything they've gone to because sure there's people that have been like a size 10 like all their lives and that's great for them but then there's people like me that like just have been in this world recently and they're not very comfortable at it and I just wanted to like tell you guys that it's okay to be like a size 10 or a size 8 or 6 or whatever even a size 0 but like it's okay to say that number out loud like why hide that number why make it seem like it's such like a secretive thing like we all have issues with ourselves and I wanted to make this video because I know there's people out there that are not as like open about it as I'm being right now and like the only reason I'm doing this video because I am like a very like honest person in person and I want my channel to reflect that and anything that I'm thinking right now I want it to come out as well and I'm a little nervous saying this <laughs> I need to take a deep breath but somebody here on YouTube her name is uh, her channel is called Hello Katie lately I started noticing her videos are very raw very just like her opinions coming out she's in college and she's having sex and all this type of stuff I'm like she's not afraid to talk about that stuff I don't know if I'll talk about that stuff but she's not afraid about talking about those things with younger audience and she also talks about body issues and stuff like that so I wanted to be another person on here that's saying it's okay to talk about your size it's okay to say you're this size or this size or if you're not comfortable with your size right now because I'm not like the most comfortable person right now with my size because I used to be like I said size 4 but lately now that I am in this body like I don't see the big issue like I feel like I don't feel like big or anything I feel like myself and I feel like I look better in certain clothes and like things just fit a little better so why make myself feel bad about a size even though it's just a number but even though society tells you that you have to be a size 0 so I'm just like so fed up with things like that and I just wanted to make a video so in case somebody does look up and say hey I'm a size 10 let me see if I can find somebody else that's a size 10 or a size 8 or 6 I've been all of those <laughs> even a size 12 recently I went to like I think I went to get what was it a dress or something and the size 12 fit me better I was like sure why not let's get it it's just a size and I have been working on like losing weight and stuff which is why I'm even wearing this top like I've been working out my arms <laughs> but just stuff like that like I I really don't want a size to be an issue for me to, or like my size to be an issue for me to make videos and feel self-conscious about it and stuff like that I want you guys to know what size I am I want you guys to know that I am a very honest person when it comes to that type of stuff and I do want my channel to reflect that another thing I mentioned in my previous June favorites video that I was reading the size 12 is not fat series those books are awesome if you haven't read those check those out they're just like 
like fiction books about um, this girl Heather Wells and she's a size 12. She the title says that she like kind of like gain weight is a size 10, 12, 14 and it's normal that's an average size for a woman it's not fat I don't feel fat obviously like I said I'm not like completely comfortable in it but it's okay it's okay to say that out loud it's okay to tell others your size and it's okay if you're not a size zero I'm like sweating I'm like super hot in here so now that I have that out of the way I just wanted to let you guys um, feel free to come to me with any questions or anything or if you feel like nobody else understands you if nobody else is your size like it's okay we're all dealing with our own issues and it's okay to talk about them and I keep saying it's okay but it really is like I've tried to convince myself of this in the past couple of years like I've gone through like I said different weights and like it's just it's just a number, it's just something that kind of defines you with your items, but it doesn't define yourself. Like, it doesn't define who you are, even if you are a bigger size, and maybe you're even more comfortable in that size. Because tell me, let me tell you, I am very comfortable right now. Like, I feel like certain things just fit a little better, and like, if I could only just kind of like, work out like certain things to be a little bit toner but still maintain the size I would and that's another thing I keep trying to tell myself too like you're gonna be all these different sizes when you're like going through different ages like when I'm pregnant I'm probably gonna be bigger and stuff like that but it's okay again it's just a number and the more you tell yourself that the more things around you are gonna be easier when you go to a dressing room and something just doesn't fit and you have to go one size up like it's okay like like I said that dress that dress that was a size 12 I'm okay buying that I'm okay spending that money and like years ago I was like kind of gaining the weight and I told myself like I won't buy that because I'm gonna lose weight and it's not that I haven't tried losing weight or anything but obviously like things happen and sometimes my body isn't re like responding to the to the workouts as much as I wanted it to. So now I'm just like, it's okay, buy those items, get those items, wear those items, and strut those items. <laughs> so I just wanted to make this video and just like be open with you guys and tell you what's on my mind and what has been on my mind. And every time I make a video, I'm like, oh my god, I wonder if they think I'm like bigger or not. And I am. I'm a little bigger. I'm a little curvier and stuff. But like I said, I'm t totally comfortable with being this size right now and I want you guys to be too. And I want to be that person that is there for you if you have any other questions or anything. Um, so if you guys like this video and if you want more videos or any other questions um, about like, you know, gaining weight or stretch marks, I definitely have my own and like I, I still have gotten more. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that you can come to me with any of those questions and I'll be here for you guys. And I'll be that friend who's like the most honest person like I am with my best friend tell me about it like she hates when I'm super honest with her but you know somebody has to be there and I'm okay being that person so so like I said if you guys have any other suggestions please let me know and in the meantime have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye that just a little bit on the top of my cheekbones then I was watching another video that somebody uh, on here on YouTube received uh, the essay edit box and I found out that you can actually open as another product in here like obviously this is like a tube so you would think I didn't even like realize that I figured that this item was just like solid and it was coming out of here I don't know what I thought but anyways there's another item in here and this is more like I would call